what is the concept of this art gallery? See, we have, the effect of the art gallery is that we will be providing a platform for those artists who have so far not been able to express their talent, what they want to depict uh, about their creativeness uh, in their uh, talent and they want to present the scenario, how they see the Kashmir Valley, how they see the society getting developed or how they see the uh, uh, life forms uh, transforming for the real-time reflection. We have seen some of the art works being depicted as uh, the immersion art like effect. We have seen the, uh, the art with a coffin and paper mache and some display, digital display. This depicts that we are actually immersed in that process and we can uh, have different type of feeling and vibes. I really was taken off from my routine uh, thoughts and immersed in that art. This type of form I first time experienced in this valley and the talent of the persons of this uh, land or first time put on exhibition and they'll be seen by so many people and we have to decipher the art what they have put on the job and this will definitely bring in the new type of tourists to visit our valley. They'll be the intellectuals, they'll be the art lovers, they'll be the people who will be having intellectual activity to exchange for and this will become the cultural exchange for Kashmir and the other countries to share. How will, it, how will it boost the tourism sector of Kashmir? See, different type of tourists will be now visiting and the tourists who otherwise are visiting our Kashmir for leisure and other activities would find another reason to be staying here for one day or two days to have participated in the art gallery as an artist or to have a visit to the art gallery and spend some time interpreting the thoughts of the people or artwork of the people of the valley from the world. That's how I see the tourist benefit. Why have tourism department come up with this uh, art gallery? The department? I can follow. Why, why, why did the tourism come up with this art gallery? See, this is part of the tourism center where we are standing today. In the lower ground, we have uh, tourist centers having the information about various sports, various activities and in the, while they wait for the information to be deciphered, they can spend one hour or two hours interpreting the art put on display here. So this is how the tourism department integrated with the uh, art and culture of the state because art and culture is a non-tangible asset for our tourism industry and tangible assets are like visiting places or building infrastructure but this happens to be non-tangible asset to be promoted in a tourism circle that's why we have integrated our PRC having an art studio like uh, why have this why have this art gallery come up and do you think that this is going to be a good platform for the youngsters why have this what is the concept of this art gallery and do you think it would be a platform for the young Correct. artists just this one Ah, start. So this art gallery has a concept to provide the platform for the youngsters and those artists who want to perfect their art and put it to the public arena for their uh, for their assertions and their valuation and how they interpret the art put forth for their uh, comprehension. This will be definitely helping the young artists who want to put on display their skills or their art, their thoughts, their process uh, for public viewing and public uh, scrutiny. This is how I see this as a platform for newcomers to grow as an artist in the valley. Kashmir is known for an arts and crafts. Do you think this would be a platform for Correct, them? because we have been discussing so far in the skills of uh, shawl making, skills of carpet making, skills of paper mache. This art form will definitely affect their growth of personalities and perfection in the arts which they are perfecting as skills now.